Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Package came in the mail today. No idea what I got here. It's from Amazon, so there's no way of knowing who it's from or what it is, Amazon Prime. This is not something I'm expecting. What is this? There's a note here. Hello, I'm a longtime subscriber and seen this item and thought it might be a good thing to try on your channel. Hope they grow good potatoes for your family. Well, this is a potato grow bag. I've never seen such a thing. There's two. Oh, look at that. Is this showing up? I gotta open up a little bit here on the camera angle. Look at that. Who would have thought you could do it in cloth? It's like, a, I don't know what it is. Melanie's going to love this. It also mentions sweet potatoes specifically on the um, Amazon sheet that came with it. Melanie loves sweet potatoes from the Philippines. I'm going to have to give, show you this in better light later on. It's a, it's a large potato bag. Look at that. I definitely got the... Let me take this out on the floor. I'm in the wood shop because it's raining out real bad. Now you can see it better. It's a... You can see with my hands. It's a large... About the size of a five-gallon bucket round. Uh, it's got handles. One on each side. Potato grow bag. There's a Velcro thing on the front. And there's a... Uh, is that a pocket? There's a pocket on here. Look at that. Is that so you can reach in and grab your potatoes? Is that showing up? Look at that. This is curious. I'm going to have to look that up. There's two of them. It's a two-pack. Two potato grow bags. Interesting. I'm going to take that and show Melanie. That's really different. Well, thank you very much. Got my curiosity up. I'm going to have to go on the internet and look this up. Melanie's certainly going to be using it. I can be sure of it. I have an eBay purchase that I made. And I want to show you what I got. Because this is really important and cool. Uh, I don't think I can do this. Let me see. Oh, maybe. There's a zipper pull in that. Yeah. A... Oh, Michelle, it's nothing exciting. Not for you. For me, it is. This is something really valuable. Warning, electric fence, 10 signs. So, uh, <laughs> okay, well I paid more than, I paid more than a dollar, but the price was right. I looked around and uh, the price for 10 signs, what I paid is a lot less than what people were paying for one or two. So um, I'm happy. So I got a good deal. And, uh, those are going to go up, so there's no way anybody is going to be able to holler at me and say, I didn't warn people enough. There's no trespassing signs, there's ribbons everywhere, now there's warning signs. We're doing this up right this year. Hey everybody, um, I got tired of hurting myself. Uh, it was agony hauling stuff across the land by hand. It was absolute agony. And I was done with it. We've got logs all over the property. We've got uh, logs to be split. We've got them all over the place. We've got trees I'm hauling around all over the place. Doing the uh, split rail fence, I've been hauling logs across the entire lot, from the wooded lot, across the road, across our yard, over to the, to the far end of the driveway. I said, I'm not doing that anymore by hand. Plus, there's other purposes for this, which you'll see in a minute here. I uh, 
finally got something that's incredibly essential for the homestead. And uh, I'm not going to talk price or anything, but I got a payment plan with somebody I know. <clears throat> and uh, it's a good, good deal. And so I've got a uh, machine. There's a bracket on the back, which I'm sure I'll find handy for something. I do have a trailer hitch I can put on there and put a ball on there. Somewhere I've got a trailer hitch for a garden tractor that I kept. So I've got to find that, dig it out. And then, of course, it's got the, the bolt hitch. And this is a cool little frame that I'm sure I can use for something. There's a, That's pretty neat. But um, that is going to be incredibly awesomely useful here in the homestead. There's no rust on the body or anything at all. The deck is clean. Everything works. The only flaw is it looks like some animals went wild on the seat. I mean, it literally looks like something went wild on here because of the gouges in it. I, I, and there's some, like something bit it and took chunks out of it. That's exactly what it looks like. And that's the only flaw. And I might even try to get that fixed up because I know there's ways to repair that before it gets out of hand. Um, other than that, it's a good machine. It starts, runs, and drives. And uh, it's, it's ours. It's our homestead machine. And I'll show you what else came with it, which is why I got it in a combo deal. I got this beauty came with it. Tilt bed with the tailgate. Um, the one I had in New York was a rusty mess and did not have a tailgate. This is the best wagon garden cart I've ever had. Uh, best condition that I've ever had. I'm going to grease up the wheels and um, go over it. I'm going to go underneath it and paint it. I've got some uh, tractor supply primer I'm going to put on the bottom of it. And I'll probably put truck bed liner in the inside. And it's a decent sized garden cart. And that was a combo deal. So this is going to help me tremendously on the homestead. With the tilt bed, all those logs that are in the front yard that I haven't been able to move because I, I hurt myself last year, I'll just tilt the bed, roll the log in, and be done with it. And I can haul those logs in to where to the, um, the log splitter now and get them out of the yard. And I've got a mess of logs all over the place, plus hauling the, uh, the stakes for the, um, the fencing I'm doing. They'll fit in here. That's, I, I believe that's a four foot uh, long bed. And my longest pole, now that I'm going down to three foot, my, I've got a 42 incher and a 52 incher. And they'll fit on here. I can put quite a few logs on that and haul them out of the forest out from out there on the other side and haul them over myself with the garden tractor instead of hauling them one at a time now. And that was just, that was agonizing. I can't do it anymore. Um, I was wasting time and I was wasting energy and I was wearing myself out. Plus, I've got firewood all over the forest that uh, I, I got to go and gather up. And this is going to help in places where I can't get the Jeep in the trailer. Or I can even just use that to gather it all up over to where I can get to it with a Jeep and a trailer. That is going to help us a lot here on the homestead. I am very, very happy. Here's something else I picked up where I got the lawnmower. Um, a lot of you are going to know what that is right off the bat. Some of you won't. It's a MIG welder. I have long, long, long dreamed of getting a welder here at the homestead. Now, I got this ne for next to nothing. I mean, like, seriously. I, I paid scrap price. And uh, he said it worked last time. I want to try it out. Everything's there. The feeder's there. It's even got a spool of, uh, of uh, wire. So we'll give it a try here one day. Right now it's bitter cold out and snowing. But, so this is sitting here waiting for a, a nice day to get out there. I'm going to have to get some uh, scrap metal and start practicing. I'm probably going to have to get a can of gas. Uh, I'm learning about... I've, I've done uh, gas welding. I've done... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Cutting uh, torch. I've used cutting torches, gas welding, and electric arc welding with the rods. But I've never done MIG welding. So it's a whole new world for me.
So, but for the price, so I couldn't pass it up. I did not hesitate even for a second. So if it works, this is going to be great on the homestead. And I've got projects lined up. Winter is not letting go. Ah, it's cold. I just put another propane can out there. I'm going to have the heat going tonight. It is brutal. It's cold out there. Oh, here. Here. Uh, in there is actually relatively warm because it was sunny for a while this morning. And then it got cloudy and then it got dark and then it got snowing. Uh, we're supposed to have snow for two days. Um, now I have another video that I did yesterday so it's out of order. You're going to see me in a t-shirt. But I wanted to get this video up because of the packages we got. And uh, well one in particular. So the person that sent it sees that we got it. So um, the next couple days are going to be brutal out here. And we're battening down for winter. Winter and spring. Now this is Michigan. You just never know. Look at that. Snow. Snow in April. Uh, the old timers are saying you usually get one last storm before it's over. This is the last grip of winter on our on our land. And then it'll be gone. That's what the old timers are saying. <laughs> 